the of the. Oh, <laughs> it's got a rhino. Yeah. That's really cool. Okay. Next one. That's really good, actually. But now looking at it, we're thinking maybe two. Today we are going to get out of the van and get onto the roof and install our roof racks. We are installing a Rhino modular roof rack, is that right? Yep, that's right, yeah. <laughs> so we bought this uh, Rhino modular roof rack rather than um, just standard roof bars. Now, it comes with two options to fit. The first option is um, rails, which you slide a metal plate into rails and then bolt up through this. But we don't have rails, so we have to take out the uh, van fittings and fix it directly from the top right through to the inside of the van. Which is a bit of a pain because once we've fitted it in and we've insulated and put the cladding and, and done the roof, we can't get easily back at this. So we did this one yesterday just to get an idea of how it fits and everything. We've got four more pieces to fit on today. So the first thing we've got to do is follow the instructions and it tells you which I don't know if you can see there it tells you which of these little spots to take out and that's where we fit these brackets on and we bolt them down through they've got a little pad just so it keeps it nice and watertight it's got a pad here and a pad underneath and when the bolt comes through it clamps it together we have also added a bead of Sikaflex around the hole just again to make it even more watertight okay so now what we do so we're going to pick away at the glue and get this plug out and then we'll clean it down with alcohol rub, get all the crap off and then we'll cover it with Hammerite anti-rust paint, let that dry, in fact we'll do it for all the ones we need to, let that dry and then we'll bolt down the other clamps. Cool. Cool. A lot of people use a heat gun to get this off, so warm it up and then they can peel it off a lot easier, but we haven't got a heat gun, so. <laughs> trusty mallet and trusty screwdriver. Trusty mallet and screwdriver. So once you've taken off like the round bit, you've got the little centerpiece. And I'll do, hammer that, there we go. Pop two, and then chest can pull that out. But now it's got all that glue still, so I need to slowly peel the glue off. Been okay, so now we've got this 99.9% .9 proof. Oh, it's like nail polish. Basically, it's just nail polish remover. So what I'm gonna do now is just dab it onto the cloth, just clean around um, the holes where we've taken off all the, the sealant. Now that I've just cleaned it of the alcohol rub, I'm just gonna add the Hammerite white um, straight to metal paint. Just because if there's any scratches, it'll just, you know, should stop any rust and everything. So. Okay, so that's prep work done. We'll let it dry for an hour, go and have some lunch, and then come back and then we'll fit the brackets on. Okay, so now that the hammer hammerite's dried, we're gonna fit these brackets on. So the instructions are really straightforward. It's literally A4, two sides, and it's just series of six images but it's so easy to follow. It's actually one of the best instructions I've seen. So, to fit the uh, bars on, you get these brackets, quite you know, heavy duty brackets. So that sits up, we've got this rubber piece, sits under there, sits on top of the van, and then you've got your bolt, which goes through like that, through the inside of the van, sits through, and then that goes on the inside, and then you bolt it together, and it's nice watertight seal. There you go, that's what I was showing you earlier, the bracket, the rubber seal and the bolt. Sits in the hole we put out earlier and then I'll hold the bolt in place like that and chest will go inside and use the ratchet to tighten up. Okay, so now all the brackets are on, it's time to get the roof racks. Oh, it's got a line on. 
Okay, so now that we've got all the rails on, which actually wasn't too difficult, was it? It's quite heavy, but it's not gonna go anywhere. We need to now join all four pieces together and they're just held together by some bolts. So you're gonna put those together and then once, once it's all joined together, you're gonna measure the distances either side and then just get, make sure that it's uh, center. And then we, oh, I can't get that on it. Um, we, then we attach these clamps over the uh, footings or the bits we put on earlier. Bolt those together and that is it done. That is, that is 16 and a half. 16. So now we're just making sure that both sides are the same distance. So you don't look at monkey. So these are the brackets, they go over the bar like that, you lift the bar up and then you put the two bolts in there. Right, so that is the, uh, not solar panels, what I was going to say, so that's the roof racks on. It was a lot, lot easier than I uh, thought it was going to be. Yeah, so we really like how it looks. It's nice and low, it looks a bit sleek, it doesn't look plastic, so really happy with it. So now that we've uh, finished this, we're ready to put the solar panels on. Well, we need to order the solar panels first, but it's ready to have the solar panels on top. Roof racks on. What is our okay. next plan of action then? So what, the are you what are you doing today? Okay, so the next plan of action is, wait for this. The next plan of action is to get these walls painted. We are using a kind of, what is it, like a wax, so it won't need sealing, so we can just paint it on. We've got it in a, hang on, let me show you. We're using the Osmo wood wax finish in white matte intensive to paint the walls because we do want it to have a white color. A lot of like the whitish stains still a kind of transparent so we wanted this we used wood finishes direct to order that and they do provide little samples which is really useful for us so if you are kind of unsure of what you want to put on your walls i kind of recommend using them and we got three different samples um, and decided to go with this finish um so we're going to see what it looks like on the walls today i've just finished doing the masking tape and we're good to go So what do you think? I really like it. Yeah, you can see the difference there. With this um, wood paint, um, you can do one coat and it gives like a more transparent finish where you can see the grain of the wood, which we thought initially that we'd want to keep it at one coat. But now looking at it, we're thinking maybe two. I'm trying to like buff all these like, uneven bits out, but it's quite tricky. Ah. Yeah, you did a great job. I really like it. Thank you. So the cladding we've used has got quite a lot of knots in it, which means some of them have popped out and there's some like little tiny holes in the cladding. So to start with them from just being big gaping holes in the wall, yesterday I put some wood filler in and today I'm just sanding them off with a really fine sandpaper. So they just blend in with the rest of the wood. You've been waiting for me. Oh, hello. Looking good. There you go. Thank Cup you. Cup of tea for your hard work. Thank you. If you tell me what I need to be, I've never heard a better truth. And 
I've waited all my days for you last year. So that is the first coat of paint done. Thank God for that. That is um, a long job, but we're, I'm so happy with how it's turned out. It is quite translucent um, and you can still see a bit of the yellow of the wood underneath. So we are definitely going to put another coat on, but it's a really nice um, paint to work with. It's really nice and thick. You haven't got to put an overcoat on top of this. It just kind of is good as is, which is great. Um, yeah, we're super happy with it and I'm just going to leave it to dry now. Me 